Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to provide an overview and review of Don't Llama. It's ages 8 and up, 2 to 6 players, and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to have the fewest amount of points when someone reaches a point total of over 40. Uh, for game setup, each player is dealt six cards. The youngest player gets to go first. And we'll say it's this player. Your cards would be face down. You'd be holding them, but I'm having them face up for the purposes of this video. And on your turn, you have three choices. You can either play a card from your hand onto the discard pile, draw a card to add to your hand, or you can quit the round. You can do one of those things. You can only do one. You cannot combine them all. So when the cards were dealt out, you flipped over the top card from the stack. And on here, you can play the same number or a number higher. In this game, there are the numbers one through six and llama. The order is one, two, three, four, five, six, llama, one, and then on and on it goes. Llamas, these cards are not a wild card. They are the magical number bridging from six back to one again. Uh, so this player can play either a two or a three they're, we'll say they're the youngest, so they go first. And then it goes clockwise, and this person, again, has three choices. They can play a card, draw a card, or quit the round. They're going to go ahead and play. And now it's this person's turn, and they cannot play a card. They don't have a two or a three. So they're going to go ahead. We'll say this time they're not going to quit the round. They're drawing a card. And even though they drew a three, they can't play it out here. They have to wait. So it goes on to this person's turn. If Generally, you want to play a card if you can because it is uh, very advantageous to get rid of all of your cards in a round. So you keep on going until we get to this point and this person plays their six. This person can play a six or a llama. I'm going to say they went ahead and chose to play the llama, even though they could have played the six. This person is playing their six, and this person will just say that they're um, going to choose to quit the round at this point. So if their cards were face down, they'd flip them face up at this point and uh, show everybody their cards. And each of these white tokens are worth one, and the black ones are worth 10. So we're giving them 10 points for the first round. They're out. Play continues between these two players. So it's this person's turn. They're going to play one of their ones. You can only ever play one card at a time. And then it's this person's turn. And they, too, are going to choose to quit the round rather than draw a card. We'll say. So they flip their card up and they place up four tokens. It's this person's turn. And they can continue playing as long as they don't have to draw a card. When you're the pers last person left, that's the deal. So they can play another card out, and now they'd have to quit the round. And they'd quit the round with nine points. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, now you just take the cards. You leave your tokens off to the side so you know how many you have. You take the cards. You shuffle them up and deal out another round, and then this person would get to go. We have carefully shuffled, um, dealt out one card at a time. Uh, this person is going to get to go first for the next round because they were the last to play a card for this round. So then you've dealt out the cards, you flip over the next card. It's this person's turn to go first. And they'll go ahead and play the four. And you just keep on playing until someone gets to 40 points in their hand. However, the one thing is, if something happens where there's two other things to know about. If this person had this left in their hand when they quit the round, if you have multiples of the same number, you only get the value of that card. So if they had, we'll say they had three threes and we'll say they had the one. That's only worth a total of four points for them. So it doesn't matter if you have a bunch of the same one, if it, then it just, it cancels itself out and you have, that would only be an extra four. If this person, then um, the gameplay continued and they were able 
to play all of their cards out here and they're out. At that point, gameplay ceases. Even if this person, they say, oh, I could play one of my twos on this and it's their turn next and they still have cards left. It doesn't matter. Gameplay ceases. This person would get the value of the cards in their hand. So this would be, I mean, they didn't get to play this turn, but the two fives would combine. The llama's worth 10. So this is 23 points because the two fives combine, the two twos combine. So it's just 10 points for llama plus five plus six plus two. Uh, and this person, so I'd get those that many more chips over here. This person, if you get rid of all of your cards, you get to put a chip back. And if they had had a black chip and all of these, it doesn't matter. You can put, if you only have white chips, then you put one of the white chips back. But if you have a black chip, you are allowed to put the black chip back, which can be uh, very, very helpful as you play. So that's it. You keep on playing uh, until somebody has, if this person that had put them over and they had 44 points at the end here, whoever has the least points would be this person with four points. They would be the winner of this game. So that's how to play Don't Llama. And if you're wondering if the name is an acronym because it kind of looks like it, um, it is. And according to the manufacturer's website, it stands for Don't Let Llamas and Markers Accumulate Llama. So mystery solved on that one. Uh, the target demographic for this game is it's a family level game that's like your alternative to Uno. Um, it has just a little bit more going on. Uh, and this delivers on that. It's just as easy to learn as like, like an Uno type game, but there's just a little more strategy and uh, choice in what you're getting to do, which is really fun. Uh, the rule complexity, easy. I love that a game that you can basically just deal out a hand of cards to everybody and say, okay, it's your turn, do this or this, and you go from there, which is really lovely, especially if you're playing it with a larger player account. Uh, gets you up and running really fast. Uh, how competitive is this game? It's medium, but I would say that it's uh, lower than games like Uno because there aren't any bad cards that you're playing on each other. There are no draw twos or anything like that. In this game, you're being dealt cards and you're trying to make your best strategic choices with them. And so if you win or lose, it seems like it's a choice of how you, what you were dealt, um, how you managed it and maybe a little luck along the way, but it doesn't feel like there's as much as people doing purposeful, um, bad moves on you, uh, which I like, especially when you're playing with kids. Uh, the replay value is high because it is so compact and uh, little and easy to bring along and easy to teach. It just, uh, it feels like an instant classic. Uh, if you like this and want some similar games, if you're just really into the llama theme, uh, there's another game called Llama Drama uh, in which you have cards, three cards face down, three cards face up on top of that, and a hand of cards, and you're trying to be the first to play all of your cards. And it's really cute, and that one has a bunch of power cards and is maybe uh, geared for definitely more for kids like this. You could play with all adults and it would be cute and fun. Don't Llama feels more like a kid game, but it's really fun and it's good. And then also, Five Alive is another card game that I'd say, oh, if you're looking for something that's like Uno Plus, uh, it's a great choice. Uh, you have five life cards in front of you and you're playing cards out into the center and you're trying to be the one, not to be the one to make the pile go over the number 21 or you lose a life. Uh, but Don't Llama is pretty great. They're coming out with a dice version of this, which I'm excited to check out. And it's the base game itself, Don't Llama, has won a bunch of awards. So you should definitely check it out. So thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.